Bluntly, honestly and if you're new I hope you enjoyed today's video as well so today's different is a little bit different than normal because you're not gonna see my face sorry about that but today we are doing a another se section slash segment for my ditch the salon series as you know previously I have done how I keep my hair blue without going to the salon and how to apply glue on nails and make them last as long as salon nails so, today we are going a little bit deeper into the Ditch the Salon series by attempting to do our own acrylic nails. Now, I'm not going to be talking much in this because I want to focus on doing the nails because I've never done this before, but I am going to go over this set with you. So, this set is from Kiss. I bought it from Walgreens for about $14.95. In this set, you get acrylic powder acrylic primer, liquid nail glue, and acrylic masking liquid to make the acrylic not smell so bad. It also comes with this little bowl to fill it with the acrylic liquid, as well as these. These are to shape the nails to the specific length that you want. Also comes with a hard stone for shaping. Then on the back you have about 40 different nails. It comes with a wooden stick to push your cuticles back, a brush to apply the acrylic, nail filer, as well as directions. So this package slides out and you have an option between white nail tips or clear nail tips. I am probably going to go with the clear. Now I did use this nail filer previously to file my plastic nails or my glue on nails. So I have a backup space and on here are the directions. So I will be putting the directions step by step on the video as I go. So it shows you how to select the perfect tip, how to pair your nails, how to apply the acrylic and shape it, as well as sculpt and how to remove. So I will include these instructions for each step that I do, but I'm mainly going to be focusing right now on my nails and at the very end I will let you guys know what I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. I really hope you guys enjoy. So step one is to rough up your nails using the nail filer and to make sure you have no nail polish or oils. Okay, so now that we have our nails set aside, we are going to start gluing them on and for that we are going to use the Kiss Nail Glue. The glue goes into the well of the nail right here where it has that little divot. That's where you're going to put the glue and then place it onto your fingernail. So once you apply the glue, hold the plastic nail on for five seconds. And keep going. So originally I was going one finger at a time, but I'm going to go one hand at a time just so it's easier to shape them. So we're trimming them. And if that is still too long, you can keep going shorter. That's about as long as I want them. And then we're going to take our nail filer and we're going to shape it up. And I like my nails to be in a point. So we're going to file these into stilettos. So that's about the shape we're going for for all of them. Okay, now that we have finished putting on the nails and shaping them, we're going to apply acrylic primer. And this just prepares the nails for the acrylic. So you just want to put it on the nail bed, not the plastic. Okay, 
So I'm gonna copy what I see my nail technician do at the salon and I'm gonna do two coats of this. And let that dry. So now we're going to prepare the acrylic. So we're taking the Dappen dish, taking the acrylic masking liquid. We're going to add three to five drops. So one, two, three, four, five. And there's five drops of the green apple acrylic masking liquid. And then we're going to take the acrylic liquid itself and we're gonna put a little bit in here so now we're going to take the acrylic powder and it's just a plain white powder you can get different colored powder but this pack came with the white so we dip it until we get a nice ball of acrylic just put it on here in a patting motion And it's okay if you put a lot on because we are going to file it down. So that is fine. So I tried to do it as clean as I could. I did get at least an even layer on each. If you notice while you're going through that some of the acrylic got stuck on the side of your nails, you can go in with a pair of cuticle cutters and cut it off. Just be really careful because you don't want to end up cutting the nail itself or yourself. So you just want to make sure you get the acrylic only. So if you don't have one of these, you can also use a two-sided nail filer and use one side to buff it out and the other side to smooth it out to get a nice even layer. So continue to just go through and file down the nails to your desired thickness. So I'm just continuing to go through my nails and get them down to the desired thickness that I want the acrylic and I'm also cleaning up the edges for where I may have been a little messy because so what you're supposed to do is while you're going any acrylic that gets on the side you are supposed to use this stick to remove and you know I didn't <laughs> and so a lot of my edges now have a crap load of acrylic on them. So after about three hours, I finally have my nails on, shake, the acrylic is put on. Honestly, it was not that hard to do. The main hardest part was making sure the acrylic just got on the nail bed and not on my actual nail. But if I had read the instructions better, I would have seen that the stick that they provided in the bottom of this is to clean off the acrylic from the side of your nails before you use the um, nail filer to get the acrylic even. If I had seen that, it probably would have been a lot, lot easier. So, I mean, but having not known that and it did it all with the nail filer and my hand drill. I'm honestly impressed with how easy this was to do. Hopefully the footage I captured shows you well enough how I did it. I'm a little worried because I was facing the opposite direction of the camera, but we will see. And for that, I'm going to be using Gel Polish Soak Off UV and LED Nail Polish. This is a set I bought off of Amazon. It says six piece, but they sent a set a um, seventh polish. So there is a top coat, a, co a bottom coat. So there's the base coat, top coat, five different colored polishes. 
So this polish is the type where if you dip it in cold water, it changes colors so that you have two different toned nails. And I'm also going to be reviewing this machine, which is a nail dryer. It is a product I bought off of Amazon for $47, and this is the dryer. So the kit I bought is the dryer. It comes with the nail polish, as well as the double-sided nail filer, a set of cotton swab or cotton wipes to wipe off the tacky cover of the nail polish after, a cuticle pusher, as well as trimmer, a filing block to smooth, remove, shine, and file, and a set of acrylic nail remover pads. Isn't that so cool how it changes? I really want to show off all the colors. I really wish I had done a, a different color for each finger, but I wasn't too sure how it would turn out. So my final thoughts on the KISS uh, acrylic manicure set. It is honestly a very good basic starter set. I feel like it has everything in here that you need to get started with your first attempt at acrylic nails. I don't think that the emery board that they provide is strong enough to file down the nails. I did use it for the most part, but for some parts, especially around the nail bed and the cuticle, I had to switch to the actual um, hand drill that I have. These I used mainly for shaping and um, cutting the nail to the length I wanted as soon as I glued it on. I didn't really use it to build with is what you're switch is what you're supposed to do this little um, pink hard sponge like bar I did use for cleaning out of my nails it worked very well my fingers still smell like apples which I'm not too sure how I feel about that I mean it's better to smell like apples than chemicals so I'm okay <laughs> the acrylic it's getting used to using the acrylic is what I had problems with if you notice in the video, there's a lot of times where the um, acrylic didn't get quite wet enough when I was trying to apply it to the nail, so I had to brush off the brush and try again. That's just trial and error. You just have to learn what works and what doesn't. Now on to the Jediya Gel Curing Lamp. This is a 36 watt lamp. It does have a 120 second timer on it or you can set it to be always on. I did do use the timer just so I know how long I have my nails in there. I like that the kit comes with everything you need. You have a double-sided emery board. You have the cuticle cutter and the cuticle pusher. You get all the nail polishes. You get the cotton pads for curing the nail polish. And you also get the removing pads for when you're done with the polish and want to change it. For the price that I paid, it is totally worth that price. I would highly suggest this kit to anybody who is interested in starting their own setup for doing your own nails. Whether you're just going to do the gel or if you're going to do the acrylic and the gel, I would suggest both these kits together and suggest getting yourself a good hand drill. Me personally, I use a Super Nail Professional and it comes with three different size drivel bits and four other add-ons to finish your whole manicure with. 
and it takes two AA batteries. So I really do see this as a good kit. It's a great for starting out. Definitely highly suggest. I will leave a link down below for both products that I bought and used. So I hope you guys liked my little tutorial slash review. I'm sorry, I know you didn't see my face and it may be kind of long, but it was fun. If you have any questions about anything I just did, please comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to join my hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you hit that bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. And on Monday's afternoon, I go live at 2.30 playing video games. And Friday nights around 8 o'clock, I go live with Beauty Chats with Jen where I talk all things beauty. So I'm going to get going. As always, I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers. I am doing the whiskers. You just can't see them. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away